We got the Chicago Bears visiting the Washington Commanders. They're six and a half point underdogs. I got a lot to say about this game as a Bears fan. I think this one anecdote will epitomize everything I feel about this team right now. My older son, who is not a sports kid and has never watched a full NFL game, maybe even hasn't watched a half, sent me a TikTok that showed the Bears are the only team in all the professional sports that has not won a game since Elon Musk bought Twitter last October. <laughs> no, you guys are the greatest tanking team ever, Chad. I'll keep saying it. It's the damn truth. You're really good at losing. Well, look, now we've got a chance to get the number one and the number two pick. The Bears have lost 14 consecutive games, allowed 25 plus points in all of them. That's a uh, the longest streak in NFL history. But they were one of the most unlucky teams on Sunday. Outgained Denver by 160 yards, had nearly 30 first towns, had four drives ended Broncos territory with no points, um, including the sack and strip and the fumble return for a touchdown to tie that game. Every part of my body is saying take the Bears here because Washington is overvalued. And this feels like the right spot to fade the home favorite of a big number. What are we supposed to do here? Yeah, I know some pros have come in on the Bears, but yeah, I, I'm kind of in the same spot as you. As I got no real read on it where your your defense is so horrible and you've had so many injuries. So you already had bad players on defense and those bad players have gotten hurt. So now you have those bad players backups playing. <laughs> it, it, it's really an absolute train wreck for this Bears defense. So I want to take it because I feel like Fields could be in this game. And you can the way you attack this Washington team is deep balls and throwing into that secondary. And that's what the Bears can do pretty well, actually. So I want to take the Bears. I was hoping it stayed seven. The pro money came in at six and a half. Now, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do this one. I, I, I'll, I'll, I mean, I always talk about it. I just like betting primetime under. So I'll take the under. Maybe I'll tease um, Washington down. It's it's a it's a long teaser number. You get them down to 0.5. Um, you know, it's hard though. It's like I want, like you just said, the Bears were really unlucky last week. I saw a lot that I liked, but I don't know what to do. It's against a defense that gave up 70 the week before. Like, yeah, yeah, it's it, it's hard to know what to do with this Bears team. So luckily, right. it, we don't need to we don't need to put this one in the contest. We're not going to put this in the contest. I think. I honestly feel like the play here is patience. And we just talked about, you know, fading the public, right? So I think we can anticipate that come Thursday night, we're going to see a lot more money come in on the commanders and it will overweigh the early money that's come in on the bears. And this game will get closer to seven is what I'm hoping. And then I'll get a chance to see if I can get the bears a plus seven but I'm not getting it unless I feel like I can get the best of the number in this one. Uh, because I feel like the bear, it's almost like we've talked about Patrick Mahomes is a, is a guy who you throw out all the precedent and the trends because he breaks the system. The bears defense breaks the system in the opposite way. You know what I mean? So I agree with you. It's just a, it's a stay away for now. <laughs> 